So you guys obviously saw the title of this video and uh, What's up people? Down in Southern Florida, they were having a tattoo expo and apparently there's a new trend going on. They're getting tattoos in their butt. Not on their butt cheek, but in their butt. Butt in their butt. But yeah, that makes sense. Yes guys, it's a new trend and the lady featured here, this is her second tattoo. I had two guys' names on it. And by the looks of it, she doesn't seem to be in pain one bit. Dude, it feels so f good. Good. Thank you. So good. A lot of mercy. Would you ever considering getting a tattoo in that place? And let's just say for some reason you had to get the tattoo removed from that area. Yo, that would be a very crappy situation to be in. <laughs> I'm just saying people. Link to the full video is below in the description and we move on to the next story involving a 14 year old girl and plastic surgery. Nadia Isles, she's just 14 years old. Now she was a victim of severe teasing and bullying at school. The kids would make fun of her facial features or her ears, nose, everything. So much to the point that she finally coerced her mom to allow her to get plastic surgery and a non-profit charity organization agreed to pay for it or most of the cost at least and one of the sad parts about the story is that as the teasing was going on she kind of kept it hidden from her mom nadia tried to keep the bullying a secret from her mom linda there's actually points in school where i felt like i was going to burst out crying but i tried to hold it in you didn't want to burden your mom Nadia's mom was already coping with mounting medical bills for her son Josh. Nadia's nine-year-old brother has cerebral palsy. Now it's kind of hard to put yourself in her shoes, especially if you have never been teased like that. Do you think that this was the right decision for Nadia to get the surgery? Or should she have been told to just accept how she is? My ears may be a little bit big, but that's me. I'm unique. My nose may be a little bit slanted or a little bit too big, but that's me. I'm unique. Giving into the negative pressures of society is never the best thing but on the flip side she feels a lot better about herself and she even wants to pursue some modeling trying to do modeling I think are you gonna do modeling I want to now there's some people that need reconstructive surgery because they had their face ruined by other people like in this case of this Colombian lady Nubia Espitia she was there walking down the street somebody approached her with a cup in their hand BAM splash acid right in her face and so far she's undergone 17 reconstructive procedures in hopes to restore her face to even close to what it was before dr. Alan Gonzalez is a plastic surgeon that performs reconstructive surgery to ladies that have been victims of acid attacks for free and he's the one that's been performing the reconstructive surgery for Nubia both of these stories are really really sad you see like when you hold one of them next to the other one you can see that one is like perceived ugliness and another one was inflicted ugliness one was told she wasn't beautiful the other one had her beauty stolen from her and now let's wrap up with some galactical space news well now they have like these 3d interactive images from that nasa's curiosity rover where you can actually go in and navigate mars from the perspective of the rover it's like google street i don't know if you guys have done that before where you go to like the google maps and go to like street view and you can navigate like around whatever city that you're in well this is like the same thing but you can navigate mars i thought it was pretty exciting you know i was hoping to see some martians on the way but martians aren't real they're only in the movies personally I've always had a fascination with Mars. It's always been my favorite planet, if you want to call it that. Because long ago, back in preschool, we used to have this rhyme that goes, Oh, girls are sexy, made out of Pepsi. Boys are rotten, made out of cotton. So, of course, us being guys had a comeback and said that girls go to Jupiter to be more stupid up, but guys go to Mars to be movie stars. And I have no clue why I just told you that. But somehow it probably relates to the Mars story. That was my my five cents on everything. Leave your thoughts and comments about your favorite story down below in the boom box. And until next time, guys, I'm Leroy Sedman Kenton, the original natural bond Jamaican black man. Boom. Me out. Yo, the sun hottie. Lord. Basically, the first scene was the intro where your character is introduced. Like in the final video, it shows like this whole high tech thing was like locating different Jamaican YouTube.